How does Facebook automatically tag the faces of individuals? Predicting flight delays. How does a website like Netflix or YouTube recommend you videos? How do banks identify which customers are likely to be most loyal and which customers most likely will default? Do you guys still have, you know, think about the, these questions? Then you actually need to know what is data science. So what is data science? Data science can be defined as blend of mathematics, business acumen, tools, algorithms, machine learning techniques, all of which helps us finding the hidden insights or patterns from raw data, which can be of major use in formation of big business decisions. In data science, one deals with both structured and unstructured data. The algorithm also involves predictive analytics in them. Thus, data science is all about present and future. That is, finding out the trends based on historical data, which can be useful for the future and for the present decisions as well. Data science is amalgamation of statistics, tools and business knowledge. So, it becomes imperative for a data scientist to have good understanding of all of these that is statistics, tools and business knowledge. Why should you learn data science? So, with the amount of data which is exploding, you know, which is getting generated every minute and the evolution of field of analytics, data science has turned to be a necessity for companies. To make most out of their data, companies from all domains, be it finance, marketing, operations, retail, IT or banking, all of them are looking for data scientists. This has led to a huge demand for data science data scientists all over the globe. With this kind of demand, the salary is rising like anything and it's the most trending job of 21st century. It's a lucrative job for many. This field is such that anyone from any background can make a career, can come and become a data scientist because every industry needs data scientists. You're coming from a pharma background, there is a need for a data scientist in pharma sector. Coming from banking background, there is a need for a data scientist in banking sector. So if you get these skills, which we will talk about, then you can actually get into data science in your own field, in your own industry. Isn't that great? So how is the process of uh, model building in data science carried on? So you can see on your screen, you first need to have some business understanding and then you go to analytic approach, analytics approach. Once you understand what is the problem to be solved, you state that we need these kind of data, these, these data requirements are there. And then we go ahead and do data collection. Understand the data, we prepare the data properly, if it is unstructured, we structure it. And then it happens in a loop till the data is prepared. Once the data is prepared properly, we take that data and build a model on it. We evaluate the model, we deploy it and we check whether it is working or not, whether that model is giving any proper solution to us, whether the solution is going to have a business impact or not. So this again happens in loop and the data scientist keeps on refining the model based on the feedback which the data scientists receive. So during this whole model building process, which all skills were required? So skills which will be required will be tools which will be used to do this, will be techniques which will be used to do this and most importantly business understanding. So if you understand business nicely, and you really want to become an al, you know, a, a person who analyzes stuff and then you know take decisions based on the data, advises clients based on the data to have a huge business impact, then this field might be for you. So which all tools and which all techniques are important? Let us see. So when we talk about tools, Python is one of the tools or maybe one of the coding language which will be used and which is used extensively all around uh, in, in every domain. 
MS Excel, that is Microsoft Excel is one of the tools which every data scientist must be hands-on, must be very, very comfortable with. And then SQL database, where you need to, you know, go to the data, uh, fetch it from somewhere, make some changes, do this, do that. So all those things you can do using SQL coding, SQL database. So these were the tools which are very important today. One more tool which is coming up recently, catching up trend is Tableau or Power BI, that is visualization tool. Where you can make graphs, we can, you can make a really good looking dashboard, a dynamic dashboard and your CEO will love it. Because a dashboard will contain a lot of information and that will be on the visualization basis. So that is the reason why the, a lot of time will be saved. CEO's time. Now let's talk about the techniques which will be there. So mathematical expertise should be there. So if you are afraid of maths, you should think twice before entering this field. This field might not be for you. If you hate maths like anything, this this uh, this field might not be for you. If you hate coding like anything, this field might not be for you. But yes, if you get into visualization, the tab view part, the bar BI part, you will not require to do coding as such. So data scientists also work on machine learning algorithms such as regression, clustering, time series. You will learn all of these things which require a very high amount of mathematical knowledge since they themselves are based on mathematical algorithms. So that's the reason why I said if you hate maths, this is not for you. You may think twice. You should not enter. Because if you enter, you work hard and then you say that, oh, it's all about maths. This is not what I wanted to do. Then you will waste a lot of time. And if you love maths, then this is the field for you. Why don't you really get into this? Now, another technique which is very important is working with the unstructured data. Like there are outliers, there are missing values, all these things. How to deal with this? Since most of the data produced every day in the form of images, comments, tweets, search history, etc. is unstructured, it is very useful skill in India, in today's market, to know how to convert this unstructured data into a structured form and then work on them. And the third thing we talked about was business understanding. Analytics professionals come in the mid-management to the higher management in the hierarchy. So having business knowledge comes as a big requirement for them. So if you say that I know all the tools, I know all the techniques, but you don't understand business properly, you don't understand demand supply properly, then you know this might not be a very good field for you. But then if you gain business, it's not like you, you know, you are born with business understanding, no not at all. You gain business understanding, you know, slowly and steadily. So gradually you can work on it, you can work on the tools, you can work on the techniques and you can work on business understanding as well if you are looking to become a data scientist. So almost half of the data scientists work around 10 to 15 lakhs per annum. You will not become a data scientist directly, but you can uh, follow a path, I will tell you. You can become what and then what and then what and you know eventually you can become a data scientist where you can earn around 10 to 15 lakhs per annum and in fact even more you know sky is the limit. So almost one fifth of the jobs are for fresher candidates. This, these, these, these jobs are not of data scientist jobs but it's, it's something which is related to data science. We'll talk about it. So the job roles which we are going to talk about now can be business analytics professional. Okay, you can get into this. Like companies like Walmart, Genpac, uh, they they are hiring business analytics professionals. A business analytics professional has the skills to make the use of the information from the data to generate insights about the business. To be a data focused business analyst professional. You must know the techniques component related to managing and manipulating data that I talked about. And then you can become business intelligence professional that analyzes the past trends using data visualization tools as I talked about, Tableau, Power BI, to develop you know dashboards. They also monitor the performance metrics of the company 
and provide insight to respective department. Almost each and every industry and each and every company is now hiring a business intelligence professional because each and every company needs dashboard to actually check whether what they are doing is on the right path or not. So the recruiters, maybe all of them, but then to name a few, Accenture, ZS, uh, Sun Pharma and so on. You can become a data scientist but not directly. Data scientists help build complicated data models and simulations in a big data environment, focusing more on math and statistics. These data scientists have a particular interest in reading statistics and building and deploying machine learning models. Recruiters can be Amdocs, OYO, HDFC Bank and so on many 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 companies. You can become HR analytics professional, a marketing analytics professional, a financial analytics professional or any other domain you know an IT analytics professional and so on. So because analytics is applied in each and every domain that is the reason you can master that domain and get into it as an analytics professional. So guys. I have made one more video about storytelling in data science where you will learn the process. So you can click on this i button and you can get over there. Also if you are looking to become any of these like business analytics professional or get in, you want to get into this field like data science field, then you can check the link below and you can go on the pro school page and you can book a demo session. If you like it, then you can think about it. If you don't like it, you can think about it as well. Right? So, taking an informed decision is very, very important. You can take the session online or you can take the session offline in any of these centers. If you are located anywhere over here, you can visit the center. You can talk to the counselor, you will get some knowledge and then you will be able to take an informed decision. Pro School stands tall here in front of you to help you, to support you, to counsel you, to take informed decision and not get into things which are really not for you and then regret later on. Thank you guys. Please like the video and share the video.